good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another WWE Elite Ringside exclusive review on the brand new WWE Elite ECW Cactus Jack figure. Again, it is ringside exclusive, as you guys can see by the sticker here. Actually, it's not. It's embossed, or it's not even embossed. It's just printed onto the box, which I don't like. I, I like the stickers, man. The stickers kind of gave it a, a nice element, kind of similar to the AEW, you know, Chase figures. I like the sticker. I think the stickers are really nice and stuff, but as you guys can see, got the signature your shooter hands in here we got a beautiful championship we got the hands great looking ringside exclusive packaging as you guys can see the barbed wire gets into the you know the violent and the ecw style of things there new wwe logo ecw logo there cactus jack right there at the top you got the mattel logo and the ringside exclusive logo on the side you get a beautiful classic image of mick foley slash cactus jack elite collection on the back you got bang bang a picture of him there ecw logo up there elite logo up there if you guys would like to read this you guys can go ahead and pause it now if you would like to read the bio on the back Plopping it back to the side, we have another image, the same image on the other side, WWE Elite logo, and that pretty much wraps up our packaging on our ECW Cactus Jack figure, which should be pretty nice, man. Pretty excited for this one. I don't think it's the best ringside exclusive ever, but I think the championship's great. I like what we're getting out of this, and I know a lot of collectors have been wanting this, so we won't know how good it is until we crack it out of the packaging and take a closer look at it, man. So with that being said, let's crack ECW Cactus Jack out of the packaging. All right, guys, so here's Cactus Jack out of his packaging. Like in what I'm seeing, the figure feels really, really good in the hand, which is something that I did not expect. I kind of expected the legs to be a little stiff, which we'll get into with the articulation and things of that nature. But I'm liking what we got going. I don't think this is a new head sculpt. I think this is a classic Mankind head sculpt, if I'm not mistaken. Or actually, it may be a reuse of a Mankind head sculpt and the Dude Love head sculpt with a few minor changes, which we'll take a look at. I don't know the whole the whole deal there, but maybe it's the same head sculpt with different hair. I, I, let's just shut the hell up man let's dive into his accessories and then we'll dive into cactus jack himself so one thing that you guys know the ringside exclusives do include is this like cardboard background which is what it is you know we've gotten it with the edge with the you know the three in one edge head edge heads edge the bray wyatt firefly funhouse the walter the new tomaso champa we're getting very soon they all come with these cardboard backgrounds which make great for shelf displays you know you set this up and then you put your classic ecw guys up there and all that stuff but you guys can see it's just kind of like a like a it's a nice little banner here that says ecw ECW, classic ECW logo there, and that's pretty much it. Nothing too fancy schmancy, but uh, it is something that they do include for you to include on your shelves if you want to, but that does it for his background accessory. Now let's dive into the main portion of the accessories. So diving into his accessories, man, starting out first with the cloth t-shirt that you guys saw on his body. You guys can see here it is an ECW shirt. You got the blood dripping off the Extreme Championship Wrestling ECW logo in the middle. It's just a sleeveless shirt. It fits really nicely on the figure, though. It's a nice standard cloth. It is nice to see it in cloth and not rubber. I'll always appreciate that really nice and classic feel to it i don't know if i'll display him with the shirt or in his singlet i like this you know it's a nice cloth sleeveless shirt nothing to complain about there here's one of the main buying portions for the figure i do believe and that is going to be the ecw world tag team championships now you guys can see here it's a little bit harder to see because of the black and the gold and the red but you guys can see the ecw there world tag team champion you got hardcore on the sides there really nice belt man a belt that i i don't know i didn't think we'd ever see this championship but i know a lot of people are picking up two of this figure to have two copies of it for their displays. I don't know if we'll ever get another belt pack. You, remember, you guys remember the ringside exclusive belt packs? I really enjoyed those. I thought they were fantastic, but the belt looks nice. I always appreciate a championship belt, especially a brand new one that we've never seen before, so that is really cool. Outside of that, he does come with in interchangeable hands. You have the mic holding hands, one with the hand tape, one without for left and right, and then it would not be Cactus Jack Baby without the shooter hands. Bang, bang. So you have the one with the tape on there, then you have the one without, and you could put this on uh, maybe your Finn Balor customs if you wanted to. I know it doesn't have the hand tat there maybe some classic bullet club fins or something you can play around with it or uh, i don't know it's just trying to get creative there or some kenny omega mattel customs or something but that wraps up cactus jack's accessories man let's dive into cactus jack himself so starting out at the head sculpt man actually now that i look at this i i may be tripping man but i'm pretty sure this is a new head sculpt he's sticking his tongue between the gap in his teeth have we seen that before i don't think we've seen that before i'm looking at different mankind head sculpts and i don't think that's been a thing man this looks like a brand new head sculpt and i like it a lot the the likeness is super there. It looks like a younger Mick Foley. Hair looks really good. You do have the like the you know the low ponytail back here in the back, which I really enjoy. Really nice head sculpt. I like this head sculpt a lot. I think it would be a great head sculpt for any of your Mick Foley mankind figures. And it would look a lot better than that damn Cactus Jack WrestleMania figure that we got that one time. You know what I'm talking about. Eww. So this is really great. This is a great upgrade. I like it a lot. Going down into the torso, really like the torso choice. You know, I think it fits the theme there. I'm getting a little bit of off-coloring between my shoulders and 
arms and my and my skin tone right here on the chesticles. I will say that I think it's coming across more apparent on camera than it actually looks in real life, so it's, it's not that bad in real life. And you could always put a custom shirt over it, but he does have a scar there, which is nice. I don't really like the way it looks. It looks kind of like the figure got marked up, so I'm not a big fan of the way that it's painted on there. But he's got his white wrist tape. He does have single jointed arms. This was already created before the double jointed arms. I think Tommaso Ciampa will be our first ringside exclusive with double jointed arms, which will be pretty cool. Speaking of which, has there ever has there been an Ultimate Edition ringside exclusive? How's that not been a thing yet? Now that I'm sitting here thinking about that, kind of makes me sick. How have we not had that before? Anyways, black singlet there. You do have the cactus on this leg, and then you have cactus on that leg. So it's just plain white cactus going down the black tights. Pretty plain Jane, you know, nothing too crazy. And then he does have his nice boots here, which are fantastic. Somebody needs to rip these off and make a make a Shawn Michaels in the brown gear. You know what I'm talking about, Brad. Ugly haircut, ugly gear, world champion. But the overall feeling of this figure is great. Did not expect this whatsoever. Like, the joints are really smooth. Not loose, not tight. Just really, really smooth the way a figure should be, you know? However, my ab crunch is a little bit loose, I will say. Like, it, it's not, like, necessarily loose. It's just not tight, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's kind of hard. It's just easy, I guess. It's not necessarily loose. I guess it's the same way as this. It's not loose. It's not tight. It's just kind of there. Uh, legs feel fantastic. The knees are really good. The boots are great as well. I think this is the Hall of Fame Hulk Hogan boot mold. If I'm not mistaken, we've seen it on other guys as well. That's just the first figure that comes to mind. But I'm really digging the Cactus Jack, man. Really great. Really sweet figure. I'm actually a lot more excited about this figure than I thought I would be. I thought it'd be kind of plain Janey, but it's kind of uh, Tarzani. You know what I'm saying? Holy sweet mother of God, I need to take a dump. And then for your Cactus Jack, Mick Foley, Mankind, do love perspective here. Here's kind of the mini faces of Foley, at least, that I have in my collection. You have Mankind, you got Cactus Jacks, you got Mick Foley's, you got Dude Loves in here. I think I'm missing a couple Mankinds. I know I'm missing the Elite 16, I think it was. I'm missing the Mail Away exclusive, I think. And then I'm also, or the Toys R Us exclusive, whichever one that was, I can't remember. It's very similar to this Elite here, the Elite 51, I think, Mankind. And then also I'm missing the uh, SummerSlam one with the WWF logos on the tie. But looking at all these, man, it's so great to see. I think this is the best head sculpt they made. I really do like the Elite 48 head sculpt because I hate this head sculpt. That's abysmal. I think this looks so much better. It's got good likeness. You guys can see the similarities between all the head sculpts here, but this one has the tongue sticking through the teeth, which I really enjoy. I think that's super great, and uh, this is a really great Cactus Jack figure, especially with the with the flashback ECW Tag Team Championship. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up our ECW ringside exclusive Cactus Jack figure. Again, really appreciate this thing, man. I did not expect that coming into this. It surprised me in a lot of ways. Feels really good in the hand. Great classic piece. You get the world championship for the tag team division there. I know this isn't going to be a must-have for anybody, but if you want to add this championship to your to your collection, it is a ringside exclusive. So if you're a completionist on your ringside exclusives, you know, you want to add to that classic ECW, your big Mick Foley Cactus Jack guy, then this is the figure for you, man. Holy shit. If you guys would like to grab this, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Plenty of AEW, WWE, Basics, Battle Packs, Elites, Ultimates, AEW Unrivaled, ringside exclusives, play sets, figure weapons, all kinds of stuff over there, man. Definitely go check it out and use that promo code to save yourself some money. It goes a long way in supporting the channel, and I really, really appreciate it. You guys are the best. But that does it for my review on Cactus Jack, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and get ready for some vindication, baby. Yeah. You cry.